For more than half this country's history, women did not have the right to vote. That changed 100 years ago today when the 19th Amendment was ratified and the long battle for women's suffrage scored a victory. This is for all women! High over Tennessee today, women went skydiving for suffrage, marking this historic anniversary. It was Tennessee on this very day, August 18, 1920, that became the 36th state to ratify the 19th Amendment, achieving the three-fourths majority necessary to make it law. But in the Tennessee legislature, it all came down to one tie-breaking vote from Harry Byrne, who'd had a letter from his mother. She wrote, vote for suffrage, reminding him, don't forget to be a good boy. Harry Byrne was planning to vote no, but with that letter from his mom in his pocket, he voted yes and changed history. It's often said women were given the right to vote, but it was something they spent more than 70 years fighting for. The suffrage movement modeled itself after the anti-slavery movement. Several of the leaders were abolitionists, but it would be another five decades before black women were granted the right to vote. Suffrage leader Susan B. Anthony once said, there is so much yet to be done, but I must leave it for the younger generation. We've come a long way, but there is still more to do. How precious the right to vote is.